Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hi, and welcome to Good Job, your career development channel. We are here because career development is a lifelong process. We have a video for you today, and today's video is entitled How to Control a Hostile Interview. It features Chris Cuomo of CNN's Prime Time interviewing Kellyanne Conway, who is the counselor to the President of the United States. I want you to watch this video because I'm going to give you a few tips afterwards on how to control a hostile interview. Now, when many of us think of interviewing, we think of interviewing with a company like Google, who is, by the way, one of the top 10 companies in America that has a reputation for having the toughest interviews, often borderlining on hostile. But since they pay you a ton of money, you can use the extra money for therapy. But interviewing can be other situations. For example, you can be interviewed by a bank if you're trying to get a home loan. And that's something that I went through a number of years ago as uh, we decided to buy a new house. And I felt that the interviewing process to me was a bit hostile. Like, for example, now I'm not kidding about this. For example, they asked me, where did your deceased mother-in-law get the $70,000 that you deposited in your bank? I am not kidding. Now, if that's not a hostile interviewing situation, I don't know what is. Okay, another example is that if you are in a uh, new relationship with a, a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend and the parents or family members or friends don't like you, that's an example of a hostile interview situation when they're talking to you. Or if you have an irate customer who is asking you a bunch of questions about something that they don't like about your product or service, that's another example of a hostile interview situation. So I want you to check out this video and pay close attention to how Miss Conway deals with Cuomo's hostile interviewing style. Um, especially notice what she does towards the end of the interview and I will come back and afterwards give you some tips on how you can control a hostile interview. Let's take a look. Trump. I don't you care. You the president care. lied Where? about what he knew about these women. He should no, not lie to the American people in that. their face time and again. The Washington Post does a blow just by blow take through. It's the that, first lie to, they've wait, ever flagged I'm, in I their factual. I have a question for you. I have a very simple question for you. Why is it not important for you to replay and talk about the president's own words? Why don't you show him answering that question? Because he's lying. No, but you don't want people to see him answer the question. What are you play talking about? Team. We play him all the time. I'll play his voice saying to Michael Cohen, well, what are we going to do? And then how are you going to do it? What do, you, what do you mean about financing? And, and Christopher, what play the tape. The, wait, play what, the tape. Play the tape. Remind we'll everybody what he said to Michael what Cohen. The said. No, 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 no. Play no, not the tape. That tape. No, he that's the tape. Today. Play the tape. Play but, it. You know what tape we should play? And I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with so what are we gonna funding. That, uh, yes. Um, and it's all the stuff. Did you know about the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels? No. No. Did you know about the payments? Uh, later on, I knew. Later on. Yeah, he knew later on. He knew before. He's no, he's lying. Saying he later on, but wait, I That's think we my, should all... Is that Michael Cohen and President Trump talking you know what, about the you deal? Know what tape, wait, you know what tape I want to hear? Kelly tell Ann. us, excuse me, tell us what's on the tape of Chris Cuomo and Michael Cohen. What's on the two-hour tape of the two of you? So, tons of stuff. Okay, well, tell us. Tons of stuff. Transparency, I'll tell you why accountability, I can't. facts first. Yeah, why? I'll tell you why, because there's a little difference between you and me and the shop you're working for. Integrity. The White House? My conversation with him. How dare him, you? How you dare hear? me? You admit you he's lying me? about these things. I it's as plain as the lying. nose on my face. I you should admit that. he's lying. He and you don't. That's why people don't trust you. No. That's you know why. what? Maybe right your audience there. doesn't. And you want me to answer your question? No I will. The CNN Michael Cohen had a conversation news. with me. He asked me not excuse me. He asked me not to record it. I said I won't. He said just to be careful. Let me have your phone. I said here. He then said, "We'll take our phones. I'll put them away." He did. He then recorded me on a secondary device. How do you device. feel about that? I think that that was dishonest, and it was a bad thing it's to dishonest, do. Dishonest, no intent. And I'll tell you what, you want to know what we talked about in the conversation? I'm not going to tell you. You know why? Well, tell because us Because it was off hours. the record, and I respect that, even though he did me wrong, that's called integrity. Mm -hmm. What do you do but when people aren't watching? I'm case? still not going to burn him, even though he did something wrong. Uh, he, he can answer that for himself. Okay. I'll tell so you what, there's nothing a, on it that I'm worried about. And I, I know why you guys want to leak it, but hold on a second. This isn't about me. You tried, you failed. 
He is on that tape. You tried, you he failed. is Let's on there with Michael Excuse Cohen. Me. And he's lying about not knowing before these payments, and you should admit else? it. No, this no is you what... have to admit it. No, no, I no, don't. Are you, you kidding me? I'll tell you why. <laughs> because you say to people, the president just answered the question. The truth the isn't the truth. He I didn't says, say that. "Don't believe Listen what you me. see and hear." No, no, no. He's and saying it is all that is not what he said. people's sense of normalcy Hold on. and decency in debate don't ask and integrity. You just well, want to fill up. I've asked you six times. You won't answer. You've asked me ten times the same question, and let me tell you, the president already answered. The He's lying. The pre no, that's not, that's what you think. The that's what the Washington Post says. That's what Michael Cohen says. That's what David Pecker says. And I think it's going to wind up being the what Michael the court Cohen says. you just said disappointed you. Yeah. By being you're disappointing me right now. Doesn't mean integrity. you're not my friend. No. Doesn't mean on. I think you lie all the time just because you're disappointing me. You've got about ten times the words I do so far, and I'm the guest. So because you're not answering a simple you came question. You all the way down here to interview a White House guest. Chris, go ahead. Here's a very very simple answer to you. When you say to me that yes. this is why the audience doesn't trust you, yes. you know why the audience doesn't trust the White House. Because all day long on your network, all they hear is how terrible we all are, that we lack integrity, that we lie. He lies. What is it you think I lie about? Here, tell, it, tell the world. I'm asking no, 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 no. you Answer. to admit oh, no, that he is lying about what happened on these payments. You don't I don't think it is helpful to you to play games about something that's so plain. Do you think it's, do you okay? think it's a lie? I'll give do you, you think it's a advice. lie, true or false? Do you think it's a lie that ICE and CBP were honored this week on Monday by the president? And we're back. All right, now the first thing that I want you to notice is that Ms. Conway starts going on toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Mr. Cuomo, but then she lets that go and watches him go on his tirade. So here's the first principle that I want to share with you about how to control a hostile interview. That is control yourself first. You must control yourself first. When the person who is interviewing you gets hostile, the first thing you must do is think differently and not let them take you down to their level. All right, and so let me just share this with you. About a quarter of a century ago, my premarital counselor gave me this advice about marriage. He says, only one fool at a time. That's only one fool at a time. If your wife is a fool, then you be cool. And if she's a fool again, you be cool. And if she's a fool another time, you be cool. No, okay, well, if I'm a fool, she's supposed to be cool because if both of you are fools at the same time, yeah, that relationship's not going to last long. So if your interviewer is acting a fool, it's your job to control yourself and be cool. I know that everything inside of you wants to react, but if you, um, the way you can control a hostile interview is that you need to respond. Don't react, but respond. And that's what uh, Miss Conway did in this um, video. So principle number two is you need to ask engaging questions. All right, so what do you mean by asking engaging questions? Well, those are the questions um, that the interviewer is caused to pause or think, or that are unusual, or that can take them off guard. Um, you know, it's like what um, Ms. Conway did when she said to Mr. Cuomo, well, why don't you tell me how I've lied to the American people? You know, and he just had to kind of dance around there and he started stuttering, if you notice that. Uh, in the interview and that's what she did was really brilliant because the reason why you want to ask uh, questions is like my dad used to say is that he or she who asks the questions is usually in charge now think about it for a minute uh, for a moment a professor a professor asking questions of the student the professor's in charge or a police detective asking questions of a suspect the police detectives in charge or parents asking questions of the kids the parents are in charge well usually they're supposed to be in charge you know um, or if a doctor is asking questions it's the doctor who's in charge those who are asking the questions are usually in charge when you ask engaging questions you take control of a hostile interview because what you do is that you put the hostile interviewer on notice that you have questions too all right that's just what Miss Conway did towards Como, Cuomo's um, hostile questions all right, so now you know. You know those two principles that will help you to take control of a hostile interview if you employ them. Thank you. So now I just wanna say thank you for taking the time out for watching this video. Please be sure to click the thumbs up 
all right and for this video and when you do you can also hit the subscribe button because right now we have a subscriber challenge going on and we need your help to reach 1,000 subscribers when we do then we have some really neat uh, career development tools that we will give away and one of you will walk away with a hundred dollar Amazon gift card so click that bell to the right of the subscribe button and when you do you'll be notified and how to get these valuable tools and how one of you will be selected on how to get the $100 Amazon gift cards so check the description below for more details and more tools and more good career development stuff all right this is good job because career development is a lifelong process thank you and have a great day